everyone. Candace here, Skin Serenity Spa, with actually a very dear friend now, Debbie Hollister. Welcome, Debbie. Thank you, Candy. You are a very dear friend, too. Very dear friend. I know. You've been yeah. around since we opened. <sighs> Long time. I know. If I start crying, it's okay. I know. I know. Because <laughs> you know what I'm thinking of. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, it's been a year. I know. It's yeah. been a year. But Deb started at the old house up the steps. Up the steps. Yes. <laughs> and when I opened that door and walked up the steps, the first person I saw was your mom. Mm -hmm. And she welcomed me with open arms and told me exactly what was going on. And then Candy came out from the room and she said, you ready for your facial? <laughs> I can't believe you remember that. It seems like so long ago. Yeah, I know. What was it? Four? Eight? Is years. It, is it eight years ago? Yeah, yeah. Candace Callahan sat here the other day, last week, and she's like, what, like five, six? I was like, eight years. She went, oh my God. It doesn't seem Eight possible. years. Eight, eight years. years. Eight years. I, I keep, I, I mean, I, I sound like a broken record because I have to wake up and say, it's been eight years. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. I know. Absolutely. Growth. I love it. Yes. I, I love it. It's growth. Yes. But you've been in business for ever? 20 years. Yes. Pillar of our community. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Absolutely. I hey, I have my health insurance with you. Dean has his health insurance with you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure the majority of Martin County has their health insurance with you. If they were smart, they would anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're talking about today is, of course, what led you to Skin Serenity Spa. Did you come on a gift certificate? I came on a gift certificate. I won a gift certificate. I think it was Molly's house. Up. Uh, years ago what else is new molly's house and um it was an event that, at molly's house and i won it and i needed a facial so i said i'm gonna give it a try and you're the only one that's done my facials ever since eight years and i finally got you to go some peels well i did peels four years ago five years ago yeah. i did them and now i need them again I Absolutely, we yeah. need maintenance. Yes. We we unfortunately that there is a time ticker that just keeps going and going and going. It just keeps going. So we have to make sure that we maintain, prevent, you know, do all of that. Exactly. Do all of that. Exactly. So what is it that you how do you feel that is different about us from other places? Education. And I know you've been a lot of places. A lot, a lot of places, yes. Education on on my skin and what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And that was key, you know, because nobody ever said, you need to get your ear, you know, you need to clean your ears and put, you know, sunscreen on your ears and all of the moisturizers that you put on your face, you need to put on your ears and, and your neck and all of that. And nobody ever told me that before. So. I, that makes me very happy because to us, education is one of the key components and um, we, you know, you always have those few clients that will come in and say, and they'll look at the paperwork and they'll be like, what is this? You know, I've never had to do this for a facial, you know. Well, because we take this very seriously. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if something, God forbid, ever happened in the room or after you left, mm -hmm. and if it was something on our behalf that because we didn't get enough information from you, whether it be a medication that you're on or an allergy that you have, or something that in particular that you you did or didn't want or some whatever the case may be mm -hmm. if we did not do a thorough consultation on you and find out what makes you tick then if something went wrong it would be basically our fault right and we don't want you know that's we take this again very seriously so we want to make sure that you as a client are safe and feel trusted and feel secure that we have your best interests at heart. We know how to take care of our skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we do. We already take care of our skin. We care. We want you to know that we care about you and your skin health because really that's what it's about. It's about skin health right. first and foremost. Exactly. Exactly. That's priority. Mm -hmm. So if the consultation and the paperwork takes a little bit of extra time, so be it. Right. That's you know that's the way it is. I mean, that, absolutely. I don't know how many times. I looked at the paperwork during the different 
peels that I had done, even the one I had done yesterday. Mm -hmm. I looked at it three or four times last night. And am I doing this right? And you know, I can't pick up the phone, call you, and ask you those questions. Even though I can't. Even though I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. She has my number, so I know she won't. <laughs> She's like, I know I can, but should I? No. So what she's talking about is our post care. So, um, and um, we give post care instructions. We don't just shoo you out the door. We take the time with you and we try to go over things line by line as much as possible, but you had had peels before. So there's a couple things depending upon the client that we kind of brush over fairly quickly such as no hair removal. If we know you as a client, we already know you're not gonna do that. So we're like, okay, no hair removal. You know, no injections. Okay, okay, we know you're not gonna do that. We, okay, but then when we get down to the serious stuff, no swimming, because I know that you exercise in the water. Right. No swimming for two days, so that's crucial. And it doesn't necessarily, not only have to do with the swimming portion, it has to do with the chlorine portion of the chemicals in the water. And it, a lot of people say, oh, well, I can't go in the sun. That is incorrect. You can be out in the sun because now you're educated enough to know that you're supposed to wear a big hat, you're supposed to have your sunscreen on that has Skin Cancer Foundation of America seal, and you're supposed to have big sunglasses on. You've got to be protected. I mean, I garden all the time. My skin does not look like, especially my face, does not look like I'm in the sun all the time, and I right. am. Right. I, or outside in the elements, and I truly am. But I'm smart about it. As long as, and again, education. education. Mm -hmm. It's key. Very That's key. all it is, it's education education and now we have UPF clothing which is even better you know we now have the UPF clothing and the UPF hats for our clients so that that even helps them even more because oh, it's Florida we love our outdoor living that's one of the main reasons why we're here right what do we want to be up north in the snow they're still freezing their butts off up there and today as even as we speak they're probably like really seriously we're snowing are you kidding me yes. so so anyway Debbie thank you so much Thank for you. all your years of support. I really appreciate it and wouldn't go anywhere else. But Again, know. we hear a candy. Because it's not, <laughs> there's not a lot of people that call, call me that. Candy? No, really? no. I've no. always called you candy. I know, I know. That's, that's, the, that's the old school yeah. people. The, the oldies, but goodies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. We love you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.